This week we're gonna do lasagna. It, the way I do it's pretty simple and it's good. So you just no complicated anything in there. First off, you're gonna preheat the oven to 350. And then we're not gonna heat the sauce. You don't heat it. Because it's gonna get heated when it cooks. Again, I want the big thing of sauce. <laughs> oh, Lord. He doesn't want to ask. <laughs> the, the, the nephew's scared Uncle Donald's going to beat him up. Yeah, because Uncle Donald's so mad. Yeah. He just looks mean. He's not really. <laughs> yeah. Colin's known him all his life, though. So you wouldn't think that he'd know by now. He's not actually mean. No, he just looks mean. time you don't have to add vegetables unless you want to and some people put chicken in it but we're using beef or you can do sausage whichever you prefer and then i've got of course got some on right away and then i have to wipe off this is because that's just the way my life's set up no they're hazelnuts Okay, sorry. Let me clean this up before it dries. When it's so dry, it's going to be impossible to clean up. All right. All right. Hello, Gary. <laughs> and then I'm going to ask somebody to clean the table off, and then I'm going to ask somebody to make some tea. Won't be a child no, they will <laughs> never get done. Okay. Now, this is gonna be strange just some people what you put eggs in it. I've got a big lasagna, so I'm gonna put three in mine. Three jumbos. But, uh, that'll probably be four large eggs and like five medium eggs. Uh, but the reason you put the eggs in it is it helps it um, the sauce bind together, make it thicker. <clears throat> and stuff so and it's kind of cooked so it's kinda not gonna make you sick I just like to crack mine straight in there and I know one handed but I, I've cracked so many eggs at work <laughs> so if you don't think you can do it without getting the shell don't do it and see I even still get the shell a little bit sometimes okay. anyway Don't say no. Oh, that's not good for him. Need a towel to dry my hands. I have to clean up the eggshells. I'm gonna wipe it up because you don't want raw eggs anywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna whisk the eggs in. Make sure they mix all the way in. You just have to whisk it for a couple of minutes. Where's Ethan? Okay. And there is the person of the hour that I wanted to see. But he ran away. Who? You. Uh, I was going to ask you if you could get garlic bread and some like two liters. Uh, okay. You go get up the corn and I'm pretty sure this is all incorporated. You can put the peppers and onions and all that in there if you want to. But, you know, I have kind of a picky crowd most of the time. Mm -hmm. so, we're going to let that sit over there. And i got to grab a knife. And stab people. No, I'm not going to stab people. I'm just kidding. Uh, I couldn't really hurt anybody. Right now, but... <laughs> and that's my little kid. You don't see him too much either. He's been in quite a few videos. <laughs> yeah, he only comes out every now and then. That's not Ooh, I cut myself. Oh, nice. Um, I have band-aids in my room, sir. 
have a, I have band-aids in my room, so. Again, like, like always, I'm sitting and wash my hands over and over and over. Because that kind of stuff can really hurt younger people and old people. People are just, uh, we can use this. So you don't want to. And if you use it to wash, I can wash the dishes, change it every day. And I'm not going to use this other towel anymore because I got egg on it. So we're going to get another towel. Eggs, salmonella. There's less chance because they're pasteurized, but I don't take a chance. Just because. You're going to brown this like you do any other meat. And for food safety, eggs always go on the bottom shelf. Even if you got a glass refrigerator, it's because... The egg bust and it goes over the side of the shelf, it's gonna get everything else. So, eggs and meat that you're throwing up and stuff always will go on the bottom of the shelf. Well, I didn't know that. I put meat that was going on the bottom of the shelf. Well, that's not what you do. Well, you definitely don't. Because I have yeah, all the guns, that's cracker. Actually, this is really good for brown and meat. This is a really old tool. I got it from Chris's grandmother. <laughs> Pretty good for brown and eat. I know that's actually what it was used for, but it's a good one. <laughs> and it won't, it won't scratch my non-stick stuff. Because it costs quite a bit of money to get the good non-stick that you can use. Uh, that you can use metal tools on. Kind of expensive. That's why I can't keep that one too long. I end up scratching it, or somebody does when they use them. Did Dad talk to you about that fire yet? Yes, he did. Uh, I was about to go get Mom's garlic bread stuff. Please and thank you. Bubbles. Yes. You probably better go to the store before you go get the kids. Why? You don't want to drag kids in the store. Because they'll want everything that's in there. Well, I'm just trying to save you some money, son. Because he's the kind of boy that won't say no to the children most of the time. Because he likes to spoil people. That's why they all run around saying, hey, hey, hey. That's why my nephew, if somebody says they can't afford something, he'll say, call Hobie, he's got the money. Yeah, that's what he tells his mommy, call Hobie. Hobie's got the money. Oh my goodness. He isn't one of those moves today. Usually he plays with Uncle Don. Now he's not one of those today. He's not in the mood for Uncle Don today. <laughs> Even though Uncle Donald's the one that suggested, you know, we get him a coat and stuff. And he buys him toys. a secret spoiler. He lets me take the credit for it. Mm. <laughs> and you know I'm going to drain my meat into a bowl because if, if you pour it down your drain, even if you listen to people and say to put hot water, it's going to eventually clog your drain up. So I let it, I let it get hardened and I'll put it in the, in the woods or can pour it in a trash bag, of course, but or you can even seal it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the trash. Either way, you just, just don't pour it down the sink. I'd rather go through the inconvenience of having to go outside and then clean a bowl than and an inconvenient plumber fee. Last time I checked, they were pretty expensive. 
<laughs> and look, a piece of my meat saw it just lie. I'll get it in a minute. When I clean the stove up, I'll get it up. And I bought, this is eight cups of cheese, but you're probably not gonna need that much. Two cups to four cups, probably. I bought two things. If you're making a small lasagna, you're probably only gonna need one. I use the oven ready lasagna noodles because I don't want to boil them then, then uh, layer it because I'm too. Let's see. <laughs> I don't like to wait. I'm too crazy to wait for them to cool down, so I always try to do it while they're hot. And it's kind of hot on my fingers. Just a little. It kind of hurts a little bit. That and it's faster just to use those. They cook, they have to cook the lasagna a little bit longer. But it's faster prep because you don't have to boil them and drain them and wait for them to cool and all that mess. Or burn your fingers if you don't want to wait. Like I do, I'm impatient. And you always want to make sure your meat is cooked thoroughly, especially hamburger meat. How you can transmit E. coli and E. coli can be deadly. Kinds of little baddies and I'm good meat. The difference between this and steak, sorry, really, my dogs will clean that up. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but between this, uh, this, between this and steak, steak you can cook rare as long as you get it to a certain temperature within, but hamburger meat. Is more than one cut of meat. It's all ground up into one, so it, I think it can carry more more pathogens and stuff than steak does. And besides, you're gonna have more different ages eating it. Like with rare steak, you know, usually it's only adults. They, people don't feed it to little kids because they know there's a risk that they can make them sick. By the way, you don't have to tell McDonald's that you want your meat well done. Just saying, because we're not allowed to sell undercooked meat. Everything that we sell is cooked thoroughly, trust me. We have to check it multiple times a day. And sometimes you might have an idiot back there that won't get something done, but most of the time we'll forget about it. <laughs> well, they'll say they want their, like, meat chicken and stuff. Well, we're not allowed to sell chicken that's not done. If we did that, we would kind of be in a little bit of trouble. That's frowned upon. Yeah. I don't think the health department or corporate McDonald's would like that too much. Because, I mean, we're still supervised by a corporate entity. Even though, even though there's a privately owned McDonald's, they're still supervised by the corporation. So, and they don't, they don't like when we do things like that. <laughs> they, they don't, they think that's, you know, don't think that's a good thing. Okay. All right. I, have to, I need to get me a, my spoon rest back out here. I keep forgetting it. So I just put it in a bowl. Oh goody, there's some in a cup now. <coughs> and some on the... I'll wipe that up in a minute. I'll probably wipe it in the cup and just throw the whole thing away. <laughs> we'll let that drain for a minute. Cause it will take a minute to get all that grease out of it. And I'm gonna wash my hands again. I know you guys are so, so look forward to seeing me wash my hands. Oh, and I pick things off the floor, but no, I can't not wash my hands. Trust me, believe me. I will wash me. my hands. I really do wash my hands, I will. <laughs> I like to use Dawn, because it's antibacterial and it cleans the streets very well, so. 
You want to get some greasy on your hand? You spawn. I mean, I don't see this. You sense in having about two different cleaners to clean your hands with. Dawn's antibacterial too, so. careful with that. <laughs> oh. There's all that yummy grease in there. Yummy, yummy grease. Okay. It's mostly drained. You're never going to get 100% of the grease there unless you're going to let it sit for you know, 30, 45 minutes, but I don't usually have time for that. Okay. And of course, some fell on the stove. I have to clean it up. Let me let the stove cap, uh, you know, cool off a little bit. I don't want to start a fire on the hell. I don't think that would be nice either. This meat's done, so I really don't have to wash my hands. It's, it's cooked, so. There's a foot pedal on my trash can, as you can forget to use it. Okay. I'm just going to mix the meat in. And the reason you don't heat the sauce is because if you put, if you put um, eggs into hot sauce, it'll cook the eggs. And then you'll just have scrambled eggs in your sauce. I never knew that. Yeah. You can do it in hot sauce. You just have to temper the egg. That takes a long time. It's complicated. So just use cold sauce, especially because you're about to bake it in the oven anyway. Okay. Putting this back at my mom. Sorry. Sometimes I don't know where I'm going. Um, you can use this. You can use a ladle or whatever you want to use. Mine is super easy to to pan to start out. I just put a little bit of the sauce in the bottom <coughs> so the bottom noodles will have some flavor on them. And not just, I mean you don't have to really coat it, coat it, but, but I just like, and this is, my new pan is supposed to be non-stick, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Oven ready lasagna. You do not have to do anything to this lasagna. It is ready to go in the oven. And you want to preheat the oven because the longer it takes to heat the oven, the longer it's going to take you to be able to eat. This is the fun part. <laughs> and because the sauce isn't hot, you can let kids help. They don't have to worry about them burning their little fingers off. You can go ahead and teach them good hygiene practices. Washing in their hands and stuff. And I say you need to learn to, to teach them. To teach young kids, boys and girls, because <laughs> cooking at home is fresher and healthier, I think, and cheaper. Mm-hmm. Than eating out all the time. Besides, you're making somebody else rich. <laughs> and you can control what goes in it. Because when you cook it, you know exactly what's in it, what's not in it. You know. You can control if you hide veggies. You can hide veggies in, in this. You can puree veggies. Put it in the sauce before people notice it. And she would have to do that here because. Yeah. Mm. She can, because lasagna has such a strong taste. You can hide a lot of stuff in it without them noticing. As long as you don't put way, way too much in it. You can do vegetables on it. You're not a meat eater, but we're meat eaters. Ooh. And cheese eaters, as you can obviously see. Mm. <laughs> Then, you 
like this is super simple. I'm just gonna layer it again. Oh, I bought the broken noodles. <laughs> Yay. I should have got a broken noodle sale. I don't know if they have a broken noodle discount. They do, I need to get it. <laughs> Those are broken pretty good. <laughs> to worry about going all the way to the corners with the sauce and stuff. It'll get all in it when it cooks. Trust me. It's very good. And that's why I make a lot of sauce because I put sauce all the way through it and cheese. Because the sauce will help and the cheese will help hold it together. And when you cook it, you gotta let it stand for a few minutes. So, because if you eat it straight out of the oven, it's gonna fall apart. You gotta let it stand so it can, it can have a chance to cool off and the cheese won't be as stringy and then it won't fall apart on you. Another layer of cheese. My nephew never ate lasagna until he came and ate more lasagna. That's Kenny. Kenny. Oh, he yeah. never ate lasagna before until I made some. His dad always ate the box lasagna. Don't get me wrong, it's a good option, but just don't take the place of home cooked anything. Nope. Nothing does. <laughs> I'm just gonna let them all fall because they're all cooked. Here comes the fun part. <laughs> we get to pour the rest of the sauce on top. And Christy gets this fly it splash all over her too. Until she gets a free taste, taste Yummy. Of it. Yummy. And this is just regular old run of the mill ragu sauce. I actually use that in like all of my pasta recipes. Um, in case you guys are wondering, you can find that big uh, thing of uh, sauce at Walmart. Yeah, but it's only um, where you find the big things of ranch and stuff. It's not with the spaghetti sauce. This is kind of crazy. Yeah, it is. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I just get the big things of everything because. We have a big family. Yeah, as I keep saying, you have a lot of eaters. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. Let's see if I have any more cheese in my fridge. Mm. Oh, I want more cheese. Like I said, I love cheese. Oh, I do have some more cheese. More cheese, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cheese, oh, yeah. Cheese, cheese. More cheese. And it's a good way to clean out the rest of that cheese that you mm -hmm. didn't use. <sighs> clean the refrigerator out. <laughs> yeah, we do that quite a bit too. In case y'all can't tell, we like cheese. <laughs> we like it a lot. We even have stuff like wings, taters, and cheese when there's just nothing that else that you can think about to yep. eat. Which is really good too. It really it's also is. really easy to make. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure, it's a little fattening, but I mean, heck, you only live once. That's right. I gotta get my sample oil. Yummy, yummy. Right. Uh, I got my sample oil. Yummy, yummy. Alright. Here's the on the desk. Where did I put the tinfoil? Yeah, I'm sorry. I guess so. I think so. There it is. I'm sick of aluminum foil. And now you're just gonna let it cook for about an hour to an hour and a half, check it. And then we let it cook for another hour, hour and a half, check it again. These are cold. I know. <laughs> right now, Donald's being a butthole. He's freezing us with his cold hands. 
Really? <laughs> she said, really? Because it wasn't big enough. <coughs> I have to have a lot of aluminum foil and stuff around here. Okay. I don't like the of this one as much because it's not heavy duty non stick, but it'll be okay. As long as you don't press it down onto the lasagna, because if you press it down on the lasagna, then all your cheese is going to stick to the tin foil. This part is non stick, but the other part isn't. <laughs> I use the shelf about middle height. I'll put it down. And you're gonna just let it cook for about an hour, hour and a half. We'll come back, taste it if it's not done. Only way to see if it's done is taste it, taste the noodles. So taste done. And we'll be back. Yeah, right. This is our finished product. It looks really yummy. And the only real way to test it is to taste the noodles and see if it's done. It took about an hour and a half. Maybe yours won't take that long. We're gonna let it stand for a few minutes because if you don't let it stand for a few minutes to cool down a little bit, it's gonna fall apart when you try to serve it. 